There's a common belief out there in the world of vinyl that a worn out stylus will ruin your records. And I don't buy it. I don't buy it at all. Um, I'll tell you why, and I'll tell you what I think does ruin records. Now, a fine line contact stylus starts with a nice, tight, minor radius and edge, or a ridge line. A wedge-shaped edge, at least, that comes in contact with the groove. As this stylus profile wears out, this ridge line eventually disappears. And it becomes, well, in its profile anyway, a lot more like a conical. Well, first an elliptical and then a conical. This, this ridge line just starts disappearing and then it gets burnished to a nice, large, rounded radius. It doesn't chip, well, rarely. It doesn't chip, it doesn't create a new sharp edge. It actually just gets duller. And, and I can't think of a single reason why a nice large radius would be more damaging to the groove wall than a fine tight minor radius. In fact, probably quite the opposite. What I do think damages grooves are tone arms. Tone arms that are being mismanaged. Either too much tracking force, or in most cases, the torque forces, the horizontal torque forces, or the static friction in the bearings, are just way out of whack. And it's these forces, I believe, that are the ones most likely to cause damage to a groove. I've seen plenty of evidence to suggest that it's really tone arm mismanagement and not the stylus profile itself to cause uh, groove wear, early groove wear, let's say. And in every case I can think of right now, where we have had some damaged records, we've been able to measure on the tone arm that has been playing that damaged record that it's either got very high static friction or the horizontal torque forces are way out of control. This is again why the Wally Skater is our most important tool. These are forces you don't know that you're playing with at the time and, and they don't necessarily demonstrate themselves as being existent unless you measure them. So measure those torque forces and protect your records. Until next week on the next Sound Bites. See ya.